What sounds at first like some wacky concept from science fiction has in reality been discussed in the ranks of scientists for a long time, the possible existence of parallel universes. If one follows this breathtaking thesis, then our galactic homeland represents only one of innumerable universes. According to this theory, thousands and thousands of parallel worlds exist in the infinite expanses of space, some of which show great similarities with our home universe. Others obey bizarre laws of nature, which exceed our imagination by far. Just which theoretical models speak for the existence of strange galactic worlds and how these could be built, you'll find out in the following video. Want to accompany us on our galactic journey to the great mysteries of the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again in the future. Feel free to show us that you like the contents of our posts with a thumbs up. Parallel Worlds Beyond Our Field of View To find arguments for the existence of galactic parallel worlds, it is worth taking a look at Albert Einstein's world-famous theory of relativity. One of the fundamental building blocks of that theory is the realization that there is nothing in the universe that can propagate as fast as light. Specifically, light rays travel through the vacuum at a rapid speed of 180,000 miles per second. Conversely, this also means that there are possibly areas within the universe that are so far away from our earthly home planet that they have always been hidden from our earthly gaze. In the 13.8 billion years that have passed since the Big Bang, light simply has not had enough time to reach them. These regions, in galactic darkness, would be completely invisible for us at present. No process that takes place in these remote corners would have an effect on our galactic home, but also no process which takes place in our realms would influence those strange worlds. Within the expert world, these hypothetical isolated space areas are called level one parallel universes. The principle of infinity says that in the universe, there may be literally infinitely many celestial bodies. From a purely statistical point of view, this would also mean that in the infinite widths of the universe, another galaxy exists that is confusingly similar to our domestic Milky Way. Consequently, this would also mean the existence of a detailed copy of our solar system, including a small blue planet which is called Earth by its inhabitants. In the first moment, the probability for such a scenario seems extremely small. However, in the context of galactic infinity, sooner or later, even the most unlikely constellations would come to pass. Cosmic Bubbles a look at the breathtaking nature of space shows that seemingly nothing is left to chance in the universe. The stars, planets, and moons are perfectly balanced within their constellations. Just look at the precise fine-tuning of galactic mass density. If even a little bit more matter existed in the universe, it would collapse due to the prevailing gravitational laws. If the mass density of the universe were a little bit lower than it is de facto, the atoms located there would never have formed imposing stars or other celestial bodies. And exactly this meticulous degree of fine-tuning represents for some researchers a pressing argument for the existence of further parallel universes. That theory, called the Level 2 Multiverse, is far more spectacular than the hypothetical characteristics of a Level 1 parallel universe. While the galactic areas we cannot observe because of the light velocity problem are still subject to those common natural characteristics we are used to in our regions, in the case of the Level 2 universe, the matter is clearly different. In detail, this theory is based on the assumption that the different universes are built up and bubble-shaped, whereby each galactic world developed from different different initial conditions. The laws of nature prevailing in the individual galactic bubbles would also differ clearly. Thus, it is conceivable that some bubble universes are four-dimensionally structured, while other parallel worlds show a clearly stronger cosmological constant than our cosmic homeland. The model of chaotic inflation states that many billions of years ago, not only one big bang occurred, but innumerable different bangs took place. According to this, the universe is not only a structure which expands constantly, but rather a so-called fractal, which consists of countless, constantly expanding bubble universes. 
These galactic bubbles regularly produce new worlds. For the origin of this cosmic chain reaction, researchers examine the fractal structure of cosmological inflation. This refers to a phase immediately after the Big Bang, in which the expansion of the universe proceeded at an extreme pace. However, the individual cosmological inflations are not supposed to have occurred everywhere at the same time. According to this, from time to time, again and again, new space bubbles were created, whose inflations finally slowed down until they finally assumed the status of a normal expansion. For the observer who is inside of such a cosmic universe bubble, it would seem as if his galactic home were the only one. Thereby, it has the appearance as if the corresponding universe were created long ago by a kind of Big Bang. In truth, however, this cosmic hour of birth represents only the respective cosmological inflation of the corresponding bubble. Since the corresponding bubbles can appear in infinitely many variations, they are characterized accordingly by the most diverse natural laws. In addition, it's also conceivable within this model that some parallel universes do not contain any matter at all. The Quantum Foam Theory if one follows quantum theory, then it is possible that objects can assume several states at the same time, as long as one does not measure these. To visualize this abstract thesis, it is worth taking a look at the most famous thought experiment in history, Schrodinger's cat. Within this thought experiment, a cat is locked into a box together with an unstable atomic nucleus. As soon as the said atomic nucleus decays, poison gas is released, which kills the cat. However, nobody knows when this process is triggered. The quintessence of Schrodinger's cat is that the hypothetical states of the animal overlap. So, until someone opens the box and checks whether the poison gas has already escaped, the cat can be considered dead and alive at the same time. This paradox can be transferred accordingly on a quantum level to the structure of our galactic world. Thus, an atom can be intact and decayed at the same time. A light particle can move vertically and horizontally at the same time, while an electron can swing to the right and to the left at the same time. The actual state of those quantum particles is therefore only determined when we subject them to a measurement. If one follows the explanations of the British expert David Deutsch, the existence of parallel universes would solve the measurement problem of quantum physics. While an atom would be intact in one universe, it would decay in another. The British researcher goes even one step further. For him, the quantum theory is completely without alternative whereby the conclusion is derived that parallel worlds must exist. Every time a decision caused by measurements takes place on a quantum level, the universe would split into two nearly identical copies, whereby the result of the respective quantum decision would be opposite in the parallel world. By this chain of events, an unmanageable cosmic quantum foam would arise in the end, composed of countless single universe bubbles. Within this galactic confusion, it would even be conceivable that the existing matter in one of these universes would have assembled by chance, not into conventional celestial bodies, but into a gigantic collection of cute puppies. String theory. String theory deals with the existence of parallel worlds too. From our earthly point of view, it seems as if the universe possesses three spatial dimensions. From a purely physical point of view, however, the structure of time and space could be completely different than it appears at first glance. In detail, the string theory follows the approach that there are not only three, but in reality, nine spatial dimensions, which are supplemented by a time dimension. However, Six of these nine spatial dimensions appear completely invisible to us. This is because the corresponding space dimensions are crumpled up within themselves. While these crumpled dimensions do not make any direct influence on our earthly everyday life, nevertheless, they set which particle forms can be present in the universe. Theoretically, there are an infinite number of ways in which these additional space dimensions could be rolled up. Our universe resulted from one of these countless variants. The scientist Brian Greene represents the thesis that all other, apparently unfulfilled possibilities nevertheless exist in truth, and in fact, in the form of parallel worlds. The breathtaking theory, in which the universes show the most diverse geometrical shapes, draws again some fascinating reversal conclusions. According to this theory, universes would exist in which the celestial bodies and their hypothetical inhabitants could move in more than three different spatial directions. Another parallel world, on the other hand, would have such a curved spatial axis that one would always return to the same point sooner or later. 
The Matrix Theory. To close today's video, we would like to present to you one of the most breathtaking and controversial theories. What might at first seem like a fictitious Hollywood scenario actually represents a realistic situation for some people. Our world is in truth, nothing but a computer simulated illusion. According to this, our reality is merely one of many different computer programs controlled from a universe far superior to ours. SpaceX founder Elon Musk seems convinced of this theory. The entrepreneur once judged the probability that our world is indeed real at one in a billion. In the ranks of scientists, however, this theory is widely rejected. It is not actually possible to disprove this assumption beyond doubt. However, the matrix theory is based on too many hypothetical assumptions, which cannot be proven straightforwardly in the view of researchers. Now we're interested in your opinion. What do you think about these parallel universe theories? Which thesis seems most plausible to you? We're curious about your comments. Finally, please have a look at our other videos, which we've linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.